I live in this arid land, a rich place by its nature. This is where I was born, giving thanks to the Creator. I feel so warm in this sun. The sunshine feels much stronger. And the rain that's yet to come, my folks can't wait much longer. My people's courageous. They have great strength in their hands. Everyone lives off the land and knows how to care for the plants. I see folks getting along and they are all caregiving, always looking for new ways to find water for the living. I also see brave people planning to move far away, leading their family out there in hopes of a better day, looking for prosperity, dreaming of a better story, they all desire such a thing here in the backlands with glory. Since I was a little girl, I have missed my parents. They left me to travel to a place with many merits. My turn has finally arrived. I'm going to say goodbye and leave with my grandfather to a place with water supply. I really want to see the place where the sun rises, to live a great adventure, to find all of this land's prizes. Welcome to Indie Wednesday. My name is Juris and well, this Wednesday we are going to try a reader backland awakening. I've gotten the key of the developers and thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. It's been developed by a small team of eight developers. They started in September 2016. So I am really impressed by what this game looks like already. But now let's see. Oh, I f forgot. I got to talk to Grandpa. I'll hurry up to meet him. All right. This this look game. This game looks so cute. You can do a lot. I can close water hole. I need a hoe for a day of digging this. Maybe Grandpa Tiao can help me. All right, so this game is all about surviving in the Brazilian backland and Well, we got our water meter. We got our food meter and we got grandpa Tiao. I hope I pronounced that right Where were you Sierra? Oh, I was back there wondering how this drought is taking away everything. I know I think it's time for us to look for other place. This land is very difficult to grow anything. Uh, yeah. So where are we going to leave here like my mother and father did? Yes child, but first we need to pack our things before leaving. We can't walk for a long distance without any water. No, I, I, I totally agree on that. Our pot is almost empty. Where can we get more water? Look how the Caribbean, Caribbean tree is still strong with the yellow leaves, I guess. Ah, all right, so that's a little hint. Uh, oh, it really is. I was right there a minute ago. Maybe water still runs underground. I definitely think. So I think I'm going to get a hoe. I always dig where Caribbean trees are. Remember that one that run on the road, all right. Take a hoe and we're going to dig for some water. Oh man, this is this is already amazing. All right. Uh, uh, where is the tree? There is the tree. What's this? Bird nest. So we got some eggs. We can use the eggs. So we're going to. That is fast. All right, so we got water and we, well, we're going to bring it to grandpa. So I guess he could drink some and then what's this? I know these plants. They're Vera plants. At least that's what I, how I call them. Know them from another game. <laughs> Open a water hole every time you need water. Yeah, I guess that's the way to go. It's always good to dig close to the yellow trees. 
Yeah, I'm not going to pronounce that again. But do it with wisdom or I'll run out of water sometimes. All right, now that we've found some water, what should we bring with us to eat? Well, there's not much left. I guess Grandpa ate everything. I can harvest the Kasafan that are remaining, Grandpa, but uh, the hoe needs to be charming. I saw a welding stone on the ground. I guess you could go and work for that. You should sharpen the tool before toiling. I'll be right back. So, I guess we got a little reward. I really like the looks. It, 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 it's just so, it's kind of cute. It's just so cute. Where is the welding stone? So we need to. There's no mini map. Uh, we can go like the chicken. Hello, chicken. What's this? This thing. We can pray. It's not time for praying yet. All right. I guess you're the man telling me, and that's a welding stone. All right. Look at everything. Look at the backland. This this is kind of neat. There's a house over there. A house over there. A yellow tree over there. I guess we can all explore this. Everything. And we are all going to do it together. This is going to be a little mini series where I'm going to enjoy this game. I definitely am. For I think we're going to do like. Well as long as it takes I guess. As long as I enjoy it. And if you guys enjoy it. I planned. Hmm. All right. So how do we sharpen the tool? Uh, quest. That's help. Not helping. So can we? There's. An, oh, look at it. Inventory. Crafting. Boiled eggs. No. And can we do? Quest. And then, yeah, then I need to sharpen the hoe, but I don't know how. Because we can talk to. Now that's you have the welding stones, you may sharpen the hoe. Yeah, but how? You didn't tell me how, man. You didn't tell me how. Crafting. Sharpening. Ah, now I can sharpen. Craft. The equipment was successfully sharpened. Now we go talk to Grandpa again. Did you harvest the canvas behind the house? No, I did not, Grandpa. I'm not that fast. I know I'm fast, but... But uh, what is it? This one? This one. And that's one. And that's two. Hiya. I'm kind of like a... Brazilian ninja. Do we need to pick up everything? Can we even eat those trees? Guess we can. And har show the harvest to Grandpa. All right. We've only found these canvas. The other plantations could not withstand the drought. All right. Oh, then it's worse than I expected. Yes, I guess we should have left hours ago. From what I've seen, I think we're departing soon. I see, but we can't leave with an empty belly. Uh, I guess we do. We still have any flower left? No. Look for the flower bag in the basket next to the house. I think I left it there. After that, you should set up a campfire for cooking. All right, so we're going to learn cooking. I love cooking. I definitely love cooking. All right. We've got a quest completed and we've learned how to make a recipe. All right, first thing first, let's go and check this. We got some flour left. We're going to pick it all up. And the next thing is we're going to build a campfire. I wonder how we're going to build a campfire. Uh, that one we need two twigs and some dry. So we need to find twigs. I wonder uh, if if they are. No. Hmm. We need wood. There's plenty of wood here, but but and it's dry, so we should easily start a fire. 
But I don't know how to build can this ramp and you'll need twigs and dry straws to make a camp campfire. Alright. So we need those twigs. Where am I going to find twigs? Ah, there it is. Twigs. They're just laying around. Oh, there are more. They are hard to find. Uh, they they are a little bit covered. So we got some twigs and now we're going to make a campfire. So if you start a fire, you should not do it in the middle of the forest because else you will be able to, uh, well, burn everything down. Craft. We're going to set it down in exactly this position. Hold the E button and we get a fire. All right. Now let's make up some cook canvas. Cassava, cassava. I think it's pronounced that way. You have cooked the cassava. I, I. Oh, one last can. Let's see the reaction of Grandpa. Look, Grandpa, the mashed cassava looks delicious. My mother would like to see this. Yeah, I guess she would. It looks incredible, child. But what now? Where are we going? People are talking about the fate preserved settlement where drought doesn't dare to hit. Yeah, right. The people of Ruan village will join a procession that will be heading their way. All right, how's that? Where is the settlement? How come the drought didn't affect it? I don't know. Child, calm down. Oh yes, I need to calm down. Good thing. One thing at a time. Father Olivia said that the people call this sacred place by Canudas. I bet my parents went there. Yes, they would and leave you behind. I also believe that and that's why we should head there. Then let's hurry up. That's easy. First go to the village and talk to Father Olil Labo. He must know where the procession will be passing by there. All right, I'll stay here. Not to pack things, yeah, you're going to stay here. What about Miss Fermi Ferminia? Who is he? Will she be able to ride by herself? Uh, tell her the news. She has always helped us so much. Oh, what a blessing, woman. Yes, I think... I don't know who she is, so we'll guess we're going to meet it. But don't forget to pray in the orm before we're leaving there. Alright, so I guess uh, walking under that high sun is harmful. So, in this game they don't use uh, sun screen protection, but they use blessing. Always remember that prayers can save you. Alright, so this is kind of the way of saving, I guess. We're going to pray. And now we need to find Miss... Open the gate. Sharon needs to eat and drink and stay healthy. We are doing just that. What are these cute plants? Are they sticky? Ow. Yeah, they hurt. All right. Hmm. I read that too. And that's the old lady. Damn, you're ugly. With your nice, beautiful hat on. Your blessing, Miss Firmia. Oh, may God bless you. See where I am. How's your grandpa? Is he still feeling back pain? Not a chance. That miracle tea of you um, creeped him up. Ooh, what did you put into that? And where him now? Where, and where's him now, Chell? All right. He's uh, packing our things. We're going to leave to Canuda. Some people are saying that there's no drought there. Oh, so you're leaving like the others? People are talking a lot about this village. I'd rather stay. This is my land and the rain will come soon. Yes, yeah, you, you believe in that. I just worry about my goats. The drought took it all. But now I only have four of them left. Oh gosh, the drought does not respect even the goats. No, it does not. And how come they... And how come they so... Are they still playing tricks? Oh, they don't stop in places, even in this arid weather. By the way, can you get them back for me? Alright, so we are getting a quest. We are going to do some work for Mrs. Ferminia. 
Kasira likes to be among the dry trees, Sirisio is always trying to climb the mounds, and little Rosia loves to eat fruits. Baxia usually walks along the village path, but always comes back when it's cold. Alright. I must say I really enjoyed how this game is going around. It, it's cute, it's nice. And I guess we are going to look for some goats. These look like dry trees, but I don't see... No. And I guess we are going to collect some twigs as well on the way. Never a bad thing. What was that? That was poop. I think that was poop. Ah, the dry trees. Hello. Premier's looking for you, Rosinha. Alright. Is he like stuck? He's stuck with a tr something around his tree, around his neck. Um, let's see, because I see need machete for cutting. All right, so I guess we need to find it. What kind of tree is this? You learned a boon fruit recipe. All right, that's that's nice. All right, we need to go and uh, find some more goats, I guess. This is that house that we saw from far distance. Fermia's dead goat. Poor goat. Fermia, we really sad to know that about the dead. I guess we found Brexia. That's. Look at this. This is looking great. I wonder what that's going to be. Ooh, I see a chest. I see a chest. How am I going to get it? Because I know there are like chests in this game, but I do need to find a way to get to it. Chess, I uh, need a sharp machete. Oh no. To cut a rope lock. There's a rope lock. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a good protection. Uh, where are we going? Can we go up there? No. So we kind of need to get like... What's that? No, that's that. I was sawing something. No, that's nothing. Got a sharpening stone. Anything else we can use? No. Because maybe everything in this game can be used. What's that? That looks like a goat. And let's go, little one. Yeah, man. All right. One more sharpening stone. So, where was the last one? I I don't even know. I forgot because one was like to climb, one was liking fruits. I do hear a chicken. This is a road back. I'm not sure if there's like a map or something like that. Mrs. Firma, could you repeat where Sentia went? Always oh, trying to climb mounds. Alright, so. Well, I guess then he's up there. That's a bad smell, yes. So we need to find something high. Ooh, there's also chests around here. There's a lot of chests. And, but we need to find one more goat. Ah. No, that's not a goat. That's a wooden toy. Oh, there's a chicken. Or a chicken, a goat. Yeah, I do confess that I mess up some things. Soon we need to eat. All right, let's first bring these things back. I'm thirsty. Yes, I know. Maybe we'll get some drinks from the lady. I, uh, 
bad news. Red Brachia, don't tell me. Yes, I'm sorry, Miss Fermia. It was too late. Oh, my little girl Brachia. Rosinia will be missing him so much. I knew I should have let him loose. He was so weak these days. May God protect him. I will miss him. Yes, we will. I wish you to follow your destiny in peace. Take with you the machete. A sign of good faith. All right, so we can get the machete. That's that's nice. Thank you very much, Miss Fleming. Fermin. I say I, he has a hard name, Ferminia. Are you really go really going to be finding yourself? Sure, sweetie. You'll know me. I uh, well guarded by prayers. Yes, I guess. So we got a machete, and I think we should do a little drinking. We can make. We need we need water. We definitely need more water. I wonder, can we get some flour, eggs, sharpening tools? Let's sharpen the tools, and I guess we are going back. Open the way to the city, but. First, we're going to get some more by the big yellow tree because I don't want to dry out. There it is, water, and we can get those chests as well. All right, so we got water, a beauty water. I guess we need to go back, but first thing first, let's get this. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm really risking it. And leather jacket, show the detail. All right, we really need to get some drinks now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Don't fail on me. I need to cook. Why do we even need to cook the water? Can we not just drink water? No. Uh, oh, oh, ah, I'm totally messing it up. Press escape to exit. All right, then press the tab. I'm going to create this. Yes, I got the water. Then I need to go back in the inventory and I'm going to drink it. Drink. That is not much. Drink. That's definitely not much. All right. So now that we have, is there anything else here we can we can use the stones? Because well, I don't want to mess anything up. And as you can see, there is a lot of stuff near here. I don't know if if I can only carry like a maximum. Hmm. Oh, I cannot. Well, let's head back to town. What was that? Oh yeah, the twigs. So we can make fire. And some bird nests. Some good old eggs. Let's take her uh, corn. I wonder if it's like stealing. And let's get the water we need. We can. I wonder how long the water will take. My water bottle is full. And I guess I'm going to try and find a way to town now. It's not like there is like any. All right, well, you get get a lot of resources. I guess this is the way to town then. And this is also a water area, but. This is where we're going to end this first episode of Aria. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and leave a big like if you do. And well, 
next week we'll be showing off some more of this game because I really like it and I just remember I kind of first need to pray somewhere to save the game I totally forgot about that damn this is one scary place there are a lot of goats around here but the only place I know where I can save this game is grandpa so we're going to go back just a little bit and I hope you guys all enjoyed this and I hope to see you at the next video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.